Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. First of all I'm just starting out by applying some tape on the corner of the eyes and then I'm using the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC Cosmetics and just applying that all over the lid for a nice base. I'm first starting out by using a transition shade and this one is from the Sigma Smokescreen Palette and it's called Thunderhead and I'm pretty much just applying that everywhere above the crease. Switching up brushes to a pencil brush and I'm using Mocha by Makeup Geek and this is more of a darker brown shadow and what I'm doing here is just pretty much defining where we're going to have our cut. So Amy does have hooded eyes so I do have to take it just above uh, where her natural crease is so it doesn't transfer. And then I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and just applying that all over the mono lid. So this is the part where you've got to try and keep it nice and neat because this is what's going to shape our cut crease. So once I'm happy with the shape I then go in with Pretty in Pink Eyeshadow by Morphe and just packing that straight over the top of the concealer and just working until I'm happy with the pigmentation and the color of the mono lid. Going back in with Mocha from Makeup Geek, I'm just deepening up that crease and defining that line even more using an angled brush. Using another one of Makeup Geek's eyeshadows, this one's called White Liars and it is a matte white eyeshadow. I'm just highlighting the inner corner and the brow bone. Now moving on to liner, I used Wicked Gel Liner by Sigma Beauty and just created a medium sized wing. Now moving on to the face, I started out by cleansing the skin using the Garnier Micellar Water to remove any oil or dirt on the face before we start our makeup application. For primer, I used the Photo Finish Primer by Smashbox and just applied that all over the face. For foundation, I used the NARS She Glow Foundation in the shade Punjab. Now this is one of my all time favourites at the moment. Um, I go through little phases of to what I like to use, but yeah, this is my current favourite. It's just so, so beautiful on the skin and I find that it works with so many different skin types as well. To conceal and highlight the face, I'm using the Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline. I believe this is in the shade 20 Sand, and I just applied that underneath the eyes and also down the center of the face as well. I then go in with my damp beauty blender and blend out that concealer. To set the concealer to ensure it does not crease throughout the day, I used the Mineralized Skin Finish in Light by MAC Cosmetics. Then to set the rest of the face and to add a little bit more coverage, I used the Australis Fresh and Flawless Press Powder. To fill in her brows, I did something a little bit different. I actually used the same eyeshadow that we used in the transition of the eye. It was Thunderhead from the Sigma Spokescreen Palette and I pretty much just filled in her eyebrows like I usually would. Using a white eye pencil by NYX Cosmetics, I just placed that into the lower waterline. This is really going to help open up the eyes and make us look a lot more awake. Moving on to the lower lash line, I used that same Thunderhead eyeshadow by Sigma and I just ran that from the outer corner of the eye to the inner corner of the eye. Again using Mocha by Makeup Geek, I'm going to smudge this as close to the lash line as possible for a nice smoky effect. For mascara, I used the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara on a disposable spoolie wand and just coated the top and bottom lashes. I also did forget to mention that I did apply some lashes a couple of clips ago. Um, these ones are by Model Rock. I'm not sure of the number, but I will leave them down below in the description box. To contour, I used the Hula Bronzer by Benefit and just ran that down her cheekbones, her jawline and also her temples.
to bronze, I used the Coco Contour Palette by Too Faced and bronze down her cheekbones, her jawline, her neck, her temples and also the sides of her nose. For blush, I used Spellbound by Makeup Geek and just applied that to the apples of her cheeks. Using Soft and Gentle by MAC, I just applied that to the highest points of her cheekbones, down the bridge of her nose, her cupid's bow, and also some in the corners of the eyes and also the brow bone as well. For lipstick, I used Blankety by MAC Cosmetics and just applied that all over the lips. To line the lips and to give the illusion that the lips are a little bit more fuller, I used Strip Down by MAC Cosmetics. To sharpen up the contour, I used the Banana Powder from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. Then lastly, to set the face, I used Fix Plus by MAC Cosmetics. And here we have the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments what you thought of this look. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!